back again. Time for some Type 40. Extra Merry Christmas style Type 40. It's a naughty dessert helping of us to you here on the Spacebook channel with me, Dan Hadley, Birmingham's King of the Geeks, and my two friends. I've brought them in too for this chat, this casual chat on all things Doctor Who that have happened in the last couple of days. We've got Charlotte Shields and the mega geek himself, Ian David Dears, here too. How have you, how's your Christmas been, Charlotte? You okay? It's a good one. Good. We, we always have a bit of a fun in games after our Christmas dinner. So we had a quiz with answer sheets and we all had fun. Um, one oh. of my sisters had a bit of an argument with the other, so it was Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't have been the same without it, eh? No. Sound, you have to have like a, bit of, a bit of flare up. Mm. Yeah, and how about you, Ian? Have you have you been playing party games, or was it was it just a case of you were st sat there going "Gimme, gimme, gimme" with your hands out for the presents? What was go how was it? No, like? it, was, it was fantastic. At, at the Diaz home, it's always fantastic. Christmas, they all come and visit, you know, um, yeah. and uh, we all eat and we all laugh and stuff like that. And, and in fact, uh, my family's um, incredibly loving. My family, incredibly um, uh, uh, very family orientated, and we don't have any problems with each other at all. So it's it's a um, it's a bit of an ideal family, put it that way. And so, there's a lot of you, isn't there? It must be yeah. a bit like the old the Waltons around at your gaff. <laughs> it was like fif fifteen people yeah, on it's Christmas wonderful. Day. It's crazy. I saw some but, of the pictures yeah. you were sharing. It, it is really yeah. nice. I mean, obviously, I've, I've got I grew up with quite a small family, and now yeah. I've got a, a large one. I've got I've just got children of my own, and and. Uh, yeah, so that's expanded it a little, but nothing like mm. the kind of people that descend upon you, my good friend. So did, you, <laughs> did they bring you any nice presents for their own They community? did. They did. There we go. This wasn't prepared at all. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. So tell Matt us, yes, who, who's your friend? <laughs> Matt Smith. I got the Matt Smith Titan, uh, Titans uh, model, which I, which I always wanted, and I got it. So yeah. look at that. Look at his chin. It's a cracker, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, so they're, they're sort of like, like pop vinyl style figures aren't they but yeah they are, bigger, they bit are. Chunkier. i also got i also got this which i'm really like tell you what i'm gonna go and get my stuff if we're doing presents because i got some yay got this? This. the fox flux capacitor is what makes so time what, travel possible what's yeah that? and what, what does it do it's what's just a light basically it's just a light you switch it on and it lights up that's all you know like so no it's just a light it none of the none of the writing uh uh moves or anything or works it just lights up like like a lamp. That's basically what it is. But it's so cool. It looks really cool. So, uh, that, but that's what I got. I got. Well, that's, I'm going to say that's sort of the well, flux yeah, capacitor yeah. and the and the old sort of when the when it hits 88 miles an hour, it's that, isn't it? From yeah. Back to the Future. That's yeah, really yeah, iconic yeah, in yeah. itself. Yeah, and obviously so a massive fan of the Matt Smith Doctor. So yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I, I really like this present. So that's that's cool. I don't know where Charlotte's gone though. <laughs> Charlotte's gone. Charlotte's gone to get something. Oh, here we are. She's back. Show us what she's I, I had to go upstairs, Ian. <laughs> All right, did you? <laughs> yes. What, so what I did, did say get? I was going to get one of these, so I'm oh, going to have a go. Wow, that's so great. The Camelot one, because I, mm. I love Arthur, I love knights, mm. I love sort of that period of history. So. And who who wrote that one, Charlotte? Jacqueline Rayner. Have I said Rainer. her name yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, you've been yeah, reading it. Right. I can see the cool. old. Uh, Oh, no, I haven't started yet. Oh, right. right. I in. thought, oh, right. okay. All right. <laughs> it, it, it's it's a, loaded. Locked and loaded. It's a, it's a battered bookmark, basically. So I'm like, yeah. I'll put it in. And then well. another thing that also we we had on we, that one. Oh, oh that's great. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, so can, that's cool. Another sale for you, mate. Mm. I've I actually read I've read the first two chapters of this and it was quite and it was interesting just as a thought thing just to read somebody else sort of say what they thought of this I think it's Cybermen and oh god Daleks I think were the first two my brain's gone <laughs> yeah so oh good wow. stuff yeah what did a, you get Dan do you get anything good a bit of reading I did but I haven't got it with me so it'll have to be for another Damn time it. <laughs> I did get some reading matter too. And it's a good job, I think, that we all had reading matter because the simple fact is that there was nothing much really on the table. <laughs> there and there wasn't. Because, as we all found, no. the schedules were bare, as bare as the uh, 11th Doctor is in that meme. Are, are, we, are you surprised, though? Because there was absolutely nothing to watch on TV. I could not believe it. The first Christmas, <laughs> they had nothing to watch. It was incredible. This yeah, is, even this is why I lost. I gave up my TV license years ago, and I don't regret it. Obviously, when I go down to relatives on Christmas Day. I do most years, and uh, yeah, it's. I mean, my mother was so bored, and she's like very traditional. 
died mm. in the war and even she she just had the cricket on <laughs> and yeah, yeah, i think I that was repeat cricket matches charlotte that she'd already seen earlier in the year yeah the highlight of me watching is something another present i got which was a dvd of the man from uncle the guy Richie oh, version. oh yeah so fan. that's what i watched that on christmas day <laughs> That's what Christmas Day yeah. doing. Because really? I was like, it... and I enjoyed it, and it was really good. So that's that's if, and I'm not usually one for spice stuff, but I quite enjoyed it. Is Obviously. it the TV series? Men from that's no, it's the movie. no, the Guy Ritchie movie. Oh, that's terrible. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that movie's terrible. <laughs> well, well, if she likes the movie, it'd be a gateway into the series. Yeah, right? the, the series, the series is fun. Be a gateway. I mean, I, I think re realistically, I mean, them losing Christmas top of the pops is oh god, yes. crazy. Yeah. Uh, but obviously, Christmas Day hasn't been Christmas Day since they since they lost. Doctor but also, Who. also Dan, they didn't show. I mean, again, being a Catholic, they didn't show Midnight Mass. BBC Did One, they? This, you know, they didn't. Um, and uh, I remember going to Midnight Mass and the, the priest talking about it. He was saying, you know, it's a shame because the BBC is really moving away from Christianity in their shows. And uh, this year they don't have Midnight Mass because, you know, old people, they can't get out. You know, they, they, yeah. they appreciate watching it on BBC and they didn't have it this, this, this Christmas. It's weird. So there you go. Never Very mind. Silence. They really do need to dial back on some of this because you know I've, I've been onto onto social media and seen how it's all been received, and even the mm. most most staunch defenders of the BBC have really struggled to defend yeah. this year's schedule. Uh, it's not mm. just a question of it being the same as last year's. Now it's it's now being drained of all its personality. And as yeah. I understand it, ITV, who haven't really bothered for let's be honest, about two and a half decades, mm. theirs is even worse than ever. So there's no alternative. I, you'd think ITV would look at what the BBC are doing and think, okay, the BBC are losing the ball. It's we can now pick this up, but no, mm. <laughs> no, why bother? So yeah. it does seem to be that uh, t TV and analog TV, terrestrial TV, that that's not on demand, however you want to de define it, they mm. are kind of making themselves e extinct. Really, they're, yeah. they're, I don't, don't they're doing it deliberately. Like because even I was like because I still I still have a TV license in my house, so even when the trailer started for Christmas on BBC, Most even of my, my dad still have licenses. were like. God, there's nothing on. I was like, I know. Like, there's no big specials. There's no, no big mm. shows that you go, oh, we'll watch that on yeah. the day. Yeah. And no Doctor Who, everybody. That's what we gathered here to talk about, of course, because we were served up a little bit of a treat that I don't think we were really expecting. I mean, I I sort of thought that Russell T. Davies and Bad Wolf Stroke BBC Studios may give us something because Doctor Who in the new era is sort of associated firmly with Christmas, despite the best efforts of a gentleman called Chris Chip. Uh, uh, I know the name. Jim Balls. I can out of my memory now. Yeah. But there, we have been served up a 60 whole seconds of brand new, mostly new, Doctor Who. So we're going to get into talking about that in a moment. But if you, <laughs> you're going to be having yeah. far too much fun later to remember now so please like the video right now like the video subscribe to the channel and if you think you're subscribed you're subscribed just go and give uh, give it another look give it a check because youtube have been unsubscribing people i know i know naughty, so naughty. subscribe to the channel and hit the cloister bell to get all the notifications about what we're doing next and when we're doing it either on type 40 live the type 40 podcast or here on type 40 extra this is our before show after show and in between show to everything else that we do when we want to dive on and dive into something that's happening here and now and give you our uh, a crazy uh, <laughs> off the wall opinions there a colder colder takes well it's definitely cold in this weather colder takes on whatever's going on in the universe and yeah well this was it was it the day before so it was christmas eve we mm. got on the social media campaign we got uh, a five second clip didn't we of neil patrick harris as as yet unconfirmed villain but it's the celestial toy maker and the <laughs> villain of the 60th anniversary and saying these th th these two words really worldwide premiere and then cackling and then that logo would sort of crackle with energy wouldn't it charlotte and disappear again and immediately people were surprised and they were building up their expectations that people there were some people out there that were convinced that the mm. bbc had been holding back a secret episode and were going to yeah. drop a special anyway i don't know where they'd got that from did you catch that 
I, I, I saw some people also be like, oh, we might get a prequel. We might get a mini episode. Yeah. And I'm like, really? Like, we're going to get at most a trailer. <laughs> like, that's what, that's what my I, expectation was. I, I couldn't was. see how it could be anything else either. I mean, with the schedules all, all decided months in advance, there's no room yeah. to put in anything anyway. And it's as if there's, there's a... I mean, I suppose I can't blame us, the fan base, because we have been treated quite badly by this show, these long gaps in between. It's like, they wouldn't make us wait another 11 months, would they? Well, yeah, <laughs> they haven't really... Well, I think they have got a choice, but I can see why they've chosen the pattern that they have. But I can really understand, as part of the audience, Ian, that mm. the, <laughs> when you look at the gaps in between episodes, they couldn't possibly do this, could they? I think they take advantage of the fans' loyalty a little, and hopefully Russell's going to reward us eventually long-term, I don't know. But I hope so. Neil I Patrick really Harris, so. uh, he's giving it large. It's not going to be an understated performance, I don't think. No. <laughs> it's not going to be understated no. at all, not with him. i tell you what <laughs> advice I was getting, and I, I love yeah. this because it's like part of my childhood. I got to Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Do you know the child <laughs> capture? Absolutely. I, I, I think you see him in the with... top hat even more so. With, mm. with the sort of German-ish accent, I was like, yeah, that, he just needs to be, he just needs his little van now to go with him, and it's, and it's <laughs> all there. Um, so where did they um, shoot these scenes? Because I know they shot in Camden Town, which is uh, London. And this Bristol. wasn't Camden, this was Bristol. Neil Patrick Bristol, Harris, yeah. he, was on, he was only in Bristol, he wasn't in Camden that I'm aware right. of. I certainly haven't seen any pictures with him there. Right. Yeah, but I could be wrong. But we did. Is, um, we, we got is to Russell see. working with the same crew? Then is Russell working with the same people he worked with when he did this this series, or is it a whole new crew? I don't think it's. I think it's mostly a whole new crew. The All key right. personnel, some of them are back, like Danny Hargreaves is back doing the special effects. Mm -hmm. Some some people are back, but most yeah, of them like, are new. As I understand, Phil Phil Collinson's back as producer, yes. isn't he? Like, there's yeah. some big names that are back, but I think he has mixed it with a lot of new talent. Right. Right, yeah. and it's been cool. well. This was six months ago, believe it or not, when they were filming all this around Camden and Bristol. And mm. it's we're sort of used to the idea now that the David Tennant, David Tennant is is back, and we've we've all seen numerous numerous pictures and some puff piece interviews have been floating around and things like that. It's all great, but this time on Christmas Day we get a we got a whole sixty seconds of these actors that we that we all. No, even if we don't know them from Doctor Who, these are actors and actresses that we all know of, and uh, we've seen the pictures. Now we get to see them walking, talking, and in David Tennant's case, we get to see him running at full pelt, like the last thirteen years have, have, have just nothing at all, haven't we, Charlotte? Yeah, and like ducking and diving and having a and that this teaser because I don't, I can't really call it a trailer for me. It didn't have enough in it, but this teaser. It was definitely action heavy, I would say, and it definitely wanted to really get that sort of urgency going. I was, I I was thinking, argue. I was trying to, I was asking myself and thinking about this, Charlotte. What's the difference between a teaser and a trailer? And I think you're you're right. I think a trailer, an actual trailer, is is um, driven has a narrative, so it gives you an idea of yes. what the story is about. Whereas a teaser gives you a flavour of what the ambience, how it's going to look, how it's going to feel. Mm. Yeah, it's 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 very much that idea of a taste for me, a teaser. It's this, oh, I can sort of get a bit of the vibe of it, a little bit of... There's a tiny hint of story in this, but it's not connected enough. To you would say this is a teaser then? Yeah, I would say this is a teaser for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, all of this is to mark uh, six decades in November 2023. Mm. Six decades of, uh, of Doctor Who since that very first episode. It's all being spearheaded by uh, Russell T. Davis, the returning showrunner. And uh, yeah, there's going to be three specials that we do know. It looks like they're going to be airing in very close proximity rather than months apart, which again is a choice that's pleased some, infuriated, infuriated others. And we got a little look, didn't we, at the end of Power of the Doctor, that closing special of the Chris Chibnall era. But that was it was a sort of blink and you'll miss it thing, really. This is a as you say, it's a proper, it's a proper tease. We get a real idea of how it's going to feel, and we we hear the the fourteenth Doctor speak properly, and it does silence, doesn't it, Charlotte? Those people out there who were convinced too. Again, strange ideas that people get in their heads that the fourteenth Doctor's personality was going to be completely different from the tenth, and I I couldn't see where they were getting that from either, particularly after you read the comic strip. 
yeah, like we we got Alan Z and we got a few like well known lines thrown in. See, yeah. I I don't think he's going to be completely different. I just want it not to be a complete carbon copy. That's just my sort of yeah. take on it. I did get I did get the 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 feeling that it was kind of close to what he what he did in the past, and which disappointed me slightly. You know, so um, yeah. The thing is, we. We're still assuming that this is because mm. we know that these are three hour long specials. Yeah. And because the only cast members that we know of are the ones that have been confirmed, we're still treating it as if this is a big sort of three hour David Tennant story. We don't know that. We don't know that for certain. Mm. Everything that Tennant is say, uh, said mm. is that this is a quite a, not a small part, but this is only one corner of the actual special. So I think if you're talking about if you're talking about a, a whole new series of tenant stuff and him not doing anything different, you think oh, that would be a shame. But if he is just one element, one lead, there's going to be other doctors in. There's no real time or need to innovate with a character that you're kind of there just celebrating and recapturing and reminding the audience of anyway. I think that's what they're going for. And we still have seen so, so little. It's very, very, very exciting stuff. So yeah, I, I watched this trailer. Now it just so happened, it just so happened as well on Christmas day, that as this was airing, my my kids who they, they do the thing where they go from one house to another to another, they got to the same house as me whilst this was on. And so we actually got to watch this. I got to watch Aww. this together with my sons who were really little during the, during the David Tennant era. It's kind of, kind of their time. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if you, if you, um, to me, yeah, I'll, I'll start. To me, this trailer <laughs> was uh, very, very exciting, cozy at the same time. And yet it looked several steps production wise on from certainly the era that that just finished a couple of months ago and from everything that we've seen on the show so far it looks a massive step up production wise as you said charlotte it was quite breakneck very energetic very flavorsome and it left i it left me feeling absolutely euphoric that I'd, I'd seen it. I didn't quite catch it all because I was talking when it came. I'd sort of forgotten it was on. So, my, my son's, so I, I actually missed the first few scenes, a few moments. But everybody, when we all realised what it was, everybody just sort of hushed down. How was it for you watching this? Uh, well, I, I sort of, I knew we were getting it on the day. I didn't see it on telly. I sort of, when my family was sort of starting to disappear a bit, I just sort of got my tablet out and watched it. And yeah, it, it got me excited for what's to come and I think that's what really got me to be fair similar to what you're saying just the scale this ri I think this is the first time I'm getting a feel of the scale now of what Russell's doing and what Bad Wolf probably a more important part here are actually doing and it really does feel like Doctor Who has grown up a little bit it when it comes to effects when it comes to just even just the camera work to me looked really more advanced, even though I know nothing, but it was just like a very layman's sort of view. And I was, yeah, it got me excited. And I, and the thing that I've said before, when it was just rumours about Donna coming back, I was a bit not wanting that. And I still am a little bit cautious because yeah. I don't want that storyline of her forgetting and that tragicness to go. I don't want it to be fixed. If they're going to undo and, something like that, it better be worth it. I, I think it, that's not an unreasonable thing to yeah. feel. I think it was such a powerful moment. Either you've got to create just as much of a powerful moment or have a really clever explanation for me. And I like the fact that in the trailer, that was a, so that teaser, it was directly addressed when he does say she will die. Well, they, they do touch on that, don't they? So, yeah, so maybe it is part teaser and part and part trailer than Ian, Ian because they do attempt to sort of to to give us semi answers to some of the questions it all opens with quite a, a big uh, shot of the London skyscape across London Bridge and and that looks I mean to me that looks really slick you tend to have a more a slightly more critical and more nuanced eye than I do when it comes to these things but to, yeah. uh, to me that does look world class and all of these images the effects work uh, style wise the production values they do seem next level what do you think? 
Yeah, it looked all right. I mean, I wasn't I wasn't excited about it at all. I mean, it does look very much BBC production. I, I, I hasten to add, um, it looks like that um, the, the 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 guy the guy that's God, I was just about to say the guy that's pretending to be a woman, but he's, she's he's, it's a trans guy, isn't it? It looks like she discovers a pod and finds Meet the Beep in there, and this becomes an ET thing where she's friendly with him. It looks like um. The toy maker's taking the, the pee out of uh, American Beauty with the roses that he's throwing up. You know, the bit, the famous scene in, in American yeah. Beauty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks like he's taking the mickey out of that. David Tennant's running around as usual. So you, you say American yeah. Beauty, though. To me, that reminds me of those sort of, it, it's more about old Hollywood musicals, MGM musicals of the, of the 40s. No, That's no, it's not. It's the definitely. Berkeley kind of things. No, it's definitely American Beauty because obviously American Beauty that that there's that scene in the film and it's very very famous obviously with the the, the red petals and stuff like that. So I think it's American Beauty, but um, it's a, to me it just I don't, I don't know. I really don't know what to feel about this. It doesn't look any bigger. It doesn't look any. It looks like you a. Don't think this production. looks. You don't think this looks. I mean, I know what you're saying. It still does look like. There's guys in those monster costumes stomping exactly. around. And it's but, still but, shot on street corners. But to, yeah. that's Doctor Who, though. Surely you take that away. No, it's no, no. no because like, um, when you look at some of the, the Matt Smith ones, they were quite big. They were they, they were some of the stuff that they did, photography wise and and where they shot wise is is quite big. I I mean, the thing is, that Russell is is is, you know, visiting the past, the stuff that he created in the past, isn't he? So obviously, it's got to be. The houses and stuff like that, and I understand these things come from the comic, um, which I That's never right. read. So, yeah, I never we, read. We got stuck into I it. I don't know whether this is going to be a straight adaptation of the mm. Doctor Who weekly comic strip, The yeah. Star Beast, but it does yeah. look from this trailer. We see we see a scene where Rose plays played by Yasmin Finney, isn't it? Yeah. Where Rose uh, discovers, looks like she discovers. Uh, Beep the Meep in Meep an alleyway, I think it yeah. is, which is exactly where Sharon, yeah. the Doctor's companion in that comic strip, discovers mm. him in the same way. Yeah. Uh, certainly we've got these the Wraith characters there in it. This is, visually, this looks like it was drawn by Dave Gibbons. It's it's as, probably as near as you could get on a reasonable budget without making it completely CGI and, and literally bringing the comic book to the screen. This It's an quite uncanny and sensitively uh, done visual adaptation. I don't know how closely they're going to follow the story, though, because obviously it's I, quite a... I've never read nothing. it, so I wouldn't know what's going to happen. I was going to say, I think they're going to have to be really careful about that because mm. there's so many parts of the fandom that don't have a clue about Beat the Meep, me included, yeah, exactly. who, who like, don't it'll know just the storyline. Like but it'll just be like any other story then, won't it? It's like, you, it's like when they adapted a new adventure book at Human Nature, you know, I've, I've never read Human Nature, and so to me it was a completely new story. I, I knew that it was adapted from something, but it didn't affect me one way or the other. Oh, yeah, I, I'm just I saying, like, cool. obviously there's certain story things you can do in a comic that you yeah. can't really do on telly. Yeah, so I yeah, just mean they're going to have to be a bit careful that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean... It's going to be completely well, new, and that's what's got me a bit excited as well. Like these aliens, Catherine, I... The stuff Catherine with, Tate looks good, though. Catherine Tate, she looks quite She good. She does. We, uh, I mean, the stuff that, that is different, obviously, is all the stuff involving the toy maker, uh, mm. the the shop front, the change of as you say, Ian, the the parodies. The the toy maker isn't in the Star Beast, so clearly it can't be a straight adaptation. Mm. Wherever they wherever they take that, I mean, yes, obviously Donna Noble, played by Catherine Tate, she's back, and and unsurprisingly, I suppose in in hindsight, gets gets the the funniest moments of of the teaser i feel quite easily in fact this scene uh, it's it's already become become a meme it was trending on twitter hashtag skinny man where she's in the kitchen with a daughter and a mother and um, a mom obviously because the idea is isn't it charlotte forgive me if i'm wrong if she sees the doctor again her mind will burn that's the dialogue isn't it i i, I think yeah i think it's more just him. seeing him might just trigger all the memories so I think maybe she could see him, but it's that it's the seeing that will just make <laughs> it all come back. 
Yeah, but the <laughs> thing is, though, obviously it doesn't because there's a shot where they're hugging each other. So it's obviously that she's, you know, that's the thing about teaser trailers is that you shouldn't really show a lot, but they have shown quite a lot actually to try and get the audience excited. So now we know that they do meet together because there's a bit where he slides under the thing. Oh, and she's it was never, well, never, never any, any, never any doubt exactly. in my mind that was going to happen. Otherwise, why do it? Exactly. Yeah. Why do it at all? Uh, but we, we also saw the filming when they were like in the TARDIS. Well, not in the TARDIS, yeah. like outside yeah, the yeah, TARDIS. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And to be fair, though, like I think Sylvia's actually. So I don't know her name. I feel really bad. But Jacqueline, she's, Jacqueline she's, King. She's doing quite a good job as well in this scene, like trying to cover him and be like, "No, yeah. you don't see him." I I think that she's a really good actress, and and I so said this isn't meant as any slight on on Jacqueline at all. I really I do really like her, but mm. it reminds me of some of the old sitcom sitcoms you see where actors. It's almost as if they can't. You can just see on their faces a little smile when they're saying something they know is funny. Yeah. And Jacqueline King here seems to me like she is having the time of her life. And you can see in her eyes that she knows that this is funny. They probably they could have done 12 takes of this, for all I know. But that <laughs> you can see she knows how funny this is. I mean, Catherine Tate's far better. I always forget how good an actress Catherine Tate is. That's terrible, isn't it? I've been watching her for years. But it, it does. It just looks... It it's just looks wonderful. Ian, mm. it, to me, if you're not impressed by the spectacle... Yeah. moments like this i i believe that this is judged and performed perfectly i know it's one moment in How one teaser you know? trailer in one teaser trailer but e but even this didn't charm you I, again again um i'm i think it all stems down to me not agreeing with the casting of of the new doctor and me not agreeing with with you know the 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 agenda that they sticking into everything, and I'm oh, just so it's more that for, it's... foreboding of what yeah, may yeah, come after what may this, happen, rather than, any, yeah, rather than anything too. that this yeah, is yeah. rather than anything yeah. that this is either doing or not doing. Because yeah, it's spoiling my it's spoiling my enjoyment. Because before when a teaser came on a Doctor Who, and so, so we're talking about Matt Smith's era or even David Tennant's era, you used to get excited, and you used to go, "Wow, you know, can't wait to see that." But now. This is all tainted with all the kind of nonsense they've got in this world. So but that's why I'm not. But these characters aren't tainted. Not, I mean, when when yeah. Donna Noble says the line, Charlotte, sometimes I think there's something missing. Like I had something lovely and it's lovely. gone. Oh but, my God, you feel well, that every word. And how, are you, how are you feeling it? I mean, you know, it's... Because, because that, char that connection between us as the audience, Charlotte, and, and the character... Is, well, no, it's, 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 it's Catherine's performance as well in that line. Like, if we are to try and hone it down to what we actually see and hear, you can hear that longing, to me anyway. Yeah. You could hear that longing. You could, she sad. had a very wistful sort of tone to her voice. I'm and a fan Catherine. of Doctor Who, right? But I'm not a mad fan. I'm, I don't give, again, I don't give things a pass if I feel there's something wrong. And well, I do no, feel there's Ian, something wrong. But it's, but we're it's, not we're giving not it a pass. It a pass. We've, just, yeah. we've watched 60 minutes of entertainment. Yeah. But it, it certainly thrilled and excited me. It didn't it's, mean. It's that pure. You're right. And that, it looked all right. I'm not, I'm not giving anything a, a pass at all. It's an instinctive response that I initially, that I, I couldn't, I can't deny feeling this way. I can't restrain it. I'm, I'm, it's certainly not artificial. Mm. And certainly nothing that that clown Chibnall and that moronic woman Jodie Whittaker <laughs> could ever do or say could have spoiled yeah. this for me. Th no, this I... feels like this feels like none of that ever even happened. But, and as regards same... what's come, yeah, I can't I judge understand. that because I haven't yeah, I seen the fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. I understand. The same way you feel that way, the same yeah. way I feel the opposite because of actually because of. Um, other stuff that's happened you know i don't want to feel this way i was on the rabash channel just a minute ago saying the same thing and i always and i always maintain i want doctor who to work i really do but if i go in there and they 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 put stuff in there that shouldn't be in there i'm gone and it's going to make me feel really sad there's and nothing in this <laughs> spoiling... <laughs> no of course there there's, is there's warmth and humor and spectacle and, 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 and a sensation a trans person. and a trans person so trans, you know what but I mean? trans people do exist in the world you know i know no. three so, but, just by but me. the question is the question is do, do we have to have that character in it see it's if, all to do with politics if they're it's written politics. well and they've got a storyline then it's just a character but based on what's happened on other ips that they put it in this is doctor it, it, not necessarily it's not Russell necessarily uh, belong there they did put it in because yeah, but, but, e Ian, but that's what I'm scared of. That's what I'm scared no, of. No, I, I understand. understand. But how yeah. is this any different from 
John Bowman, Captain Jack in series one? Because that wasn't done deliberately, like had to be in there. It wasn't, right? Well, it was all done... I'm saying is like that character was quite open and was quite like, yeah, yeah I'm from the yeah, yeah. whatever century, I can't quite remember. Yeah. And yeah, it was right in, a different, in your face, you could argue. Yeah, but we're, we're in different. We're in a different time now, where where every show now has been infected by stuff that I don't like, and so this is and this is why my heckles are up because of what's happened in the past, and that's why I feel that way. You you guys, you know, you're fine with 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 this stuff. You're hoping for the best. I'm hoping for the best, but still, I cannot shake that thing in my head. That that's all I'm saying. You know, I mean, as I said, I'm hoping for the best. Of preparing for the worst, <laughs> of course. But there you go. You know, that's just the way I am. You know. I think it's a pity, uh, uh, and I, I, I know you're not alone. I think it's a pity yeah. if we, we're going to get three hours worth of new Doctor Who in November, yeah. Yeah. and if in the back of your head is even if you enjoy that, I might not enjoy what's coming afterwards. It's, but that's, that's what should a, happen. It's such a shame. No, yeah, well, I, I know it's a shame. It's a very subjective response, but it's a truthful mm -hmm. response. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so I can't, I, I can't say that you're wrong to feel that way. It's, mm. it, uh, I don't, and in some ways I feel fortunate, lucky, uh, because I think I, pro I I can certainly see a crossroads whereby I could be feeling the way that you're feeling now, I, I suppose. Mm. How, how far would they have had to have pushed me away from it? I don't know. I, I, I can't possibly crossed, say. Right? Fingers crossed, as I said. you know, yeah. Everybody knows I don't I don't agree with race swapping, and they've done it here. I don't care what they say. Oh, he's a time lord. He can do it. You know, no, sorry. They only well, did that because of current current year. So, that, so, but that's on the same the, measure. The they anyway. have made their choice. They have chosen their actor. Yeah, it's got nothing um, to do with me if they've chosen. It's got nothing to do with me. It's just it's, I can only tell you the way I feel. That's all, you know. So, but will that always? Will that? In will that always be in the back of your head? Say if he stays for three or four or five years. No, I'm you, hoping. I'm hoping that he could. He could really burst into the scene, and I can go. Yes, that is the Doctor. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm hoping. But as it stands now, I can only see, I can only guess the reason why he's there is because of current year. That's, I mean, that's all I'm saying. You know, I'm not, I'm not. So again, I'm, I still haven't hmm. seen him acting anything apart, from, I, so. apart from the a couple of, apart from, a couple of. What ads the hell is for, going on? Uh, apart from that, that bit. Game, and, and that line, which uh, yeah. I think, I think, Cutie, you did that line brilliantly, mate. And you, <laughs> yeah, and you certainly it'd, wear it'd women's be nice, better than be I would. Nice but. if we could see another line from him, wouldn't it? That'd it would be, be nice. nice. Wouldn't it? Yeah, be nice. I mean, if I've got a criticism, it would probably yeah. be that he's in in this teaser trailer because. I mean, I suppose there are lots of people who didn't see the previous one because not that many people watched, you know, despite what they say, not that many people were watching because the episode was effing awful. Mm. So I, in that sense, I can see. But narratively at this point, showing him again, I don't really know why they've why they've done that. I, I, I've got a bit of a guess why. why. Remind everyone. That's what well, no, and also I think there's honestly a bit of confusion as to when we're going to see yeah. Shooty still. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think. Okay. Yeah, fair point. To me, mm. I think the the fact that he was included in this, which was precisely labelled as 60th anniversary, mm. I'm now thinking he's. This is them trying to say he's in the 60th, and that they're trying to get that across because people are confused. Is he at Christmas? Because we know Christmas specials are coming back. Is he in the 60th? I think people still are just a bit too much information. Introduce an element, introduce that element of doubt, of ambiguity. Yeah. And there's no doubt that that the ratings are going to be high for the first episode of the David Tennant Doctor Who, the 14th Doctor, and, and maybe even the second one. But it remains to be seen whether the first episode is good of this, whether the audience will stick. Because there's three episodes, yeah. right? Isn't there three? So yeah. the audience will stick the three episodes. And also, I've heard rumours that Matt Smith is going to be in it. So I don't know. I don't know if it's true or not. But we'll and see. also, the, the, the fact that this, we're, we're thinking 60 minutes, aren't we? I don't know if we're supposed to confirm that. Episode. All yeah. four specials, the three that make up the 60th and the Christmas special for next year are all 60 minutes. So and, that is a uh, long time for people to is. sit, a family, if you think about it. So it's going to have to capture people. It, it's this gonna is going to have to do that. It's the beginning of that whole, of a new grab for, uh, for the people that they've lost with one hand yes. and new people with the other, bring them all together restart something reset the table remind people what what doctor who is and how it feels and hopefully stimulate them with ideas with notions about where it could go next 
via the the hopefully the stories a slight evolution of russell's work i think he's a better writer now than he was even 10 years ago it's uh, it? with, with his, yeah I, th I think he has yeah and and yet it, whether he's playing with old characters or new characters it'd be interesting to see where that where that goes bringing uh, a character like big the beep the meep from the printed page to the screen so in some ways it's a very bold choice and they couldn't have convincingly attempted this when russell was there originally I mean, you can see charlotte it's quite a distinctive character beep the meep and when you bet when you remember uh the cat creatures from yeah uh, from gridlock <laughs> you know which i think look fantastic but they could never if they were to, to have attempted a character like this in the russell t davies era it would have been a man or woman wearing prosthetics wouldn't it they would not have been able to have done this also no, um, in, in, it's, in... it's a test it's testament to russell t how he knows doctor who like the back of his hand because i never read the comics and he's obviously read the comics hasn't he and he knows these these characters that had not been introduced on tv so it's a testament you've got to take your hat off to him he's really deep into the history of doctor who isn't he so and I yeah. that, I think that he's got gives good... me cause to be happy you know i think ian he's got a good gauge as well as to what the viewers can accept and and, and how to time something what's mm. capable what they've got a good chance of selling yeah. the, the limits of the of the resources at his disposal and mm. we don't know for certain we hear that these episodes are triple the budget they used to be but that's only hearsay at the moment it could be it could be less it could be much more mm. but they know how much money they've got to play with they know what they can do convincingly and what they can't and this is pretty bold adapting any aspect of the star beast i want to bring in matt pot our mate matt pot from tasmania he's just woken up yeah. <laughs> and obviously matt is a huge he's just shaking his head at me <laughs> f f in what oh uh, <laughs> you can tell me when he comes on yes obviously because matt is also a big comic books guy and uh, he's certainly has read the star beast so let's see what he's got to say and uh yeah merry christmas matt and uh welcome back to type 40 extra Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody on a soundboard for Christmas. You're right, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, well, we Merry need Christmas, it. Pal. We need it for this trailer. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. That's yes. Yeah. <laughs> Same <laughs> Brezhnev I brought, I brought the Jody Whitaker fans along too. So, oh, oh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah beat the meep mate it's all true everything we talked about i love the monsters i absolutely love the monsters and i know that they've you know they've used the designs from whether or not they're the actual creatures no one's no one knows yet do they mm. but uh you know i mean these could be like a some sort of fiction or something which is what the celestial toy makers are all about you know so we'll just have to wait and see. I he look evil there. Of these characters, he does he looks a lot more cuter in the trailer, doesn't he? Oh, uh, yeah. that's yeah. Someone spoiled it for me, so I was like, oh, oh, really? You know, I was I was expecting him to be a bit of a hero, but anyway, um, yeah. So, uh, how they connect in in this universe? Who knows? It, the um, character beat the meat. I don't think it's bit. a spoiler to say to confirm after he's been around since 1980 that this character is. A wrong un is what they call a wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this could go. This could go anywhere. Like I say, it depends on what they're going to do with the character. I've recently made a video about the recent rumblings and rumours that have surfaced that that uh, beat the meat may be uh, set up as a recurring character, recurring presence, because that's what happened in the comic strips and also in the audio stuff too. But um, Matt, it, it is to adapt this stuff. Dave Dave Gibbons the artist, the original artist on those strips, he was, uh, and was and still is, one of the leaders of, of his craft, isn't he? Very much a visionary illustrator and sequential storyteller. His work was was mm. big, wasn't it? F well, to, to it, it, it got page. him discovered, didn't it? That the Doctor Who work really, really so. helped towards America. And so, you know, and then of course you had Watchmen and all that. It came off 2000 so, AD onto Doctor mm, Who, didn't he? And then I think it was mm, pretty much, as you say, from Doctor Who, right onto Green Lantern at DC. I loved his Judge Dread. It was amazing. But um, yeah, no, uh, I, 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 I'm really looking forward to this. And you know, I, I don't know, is, is are the comic books known as canon? For, for the the comic strips in the magazine, I mean, not the actual. 
of the new comic strips that they're doing. It, no, the actual magazine comic strips oh, that they've no, done. They're not, they're not... No, more, no more than, no less, sorry, than Big Finish is, but no, it's still cast as just licensed merchandise. So but... a lot of, this is probably the first time Doctor Who's actually met these characters before then. Probably. It's a possibility, yeah. Okay. So, got, yeah, just, I mean, I'm... Not just Beep the Meat, but the, the, the Wraiths as well. So there's more Dave Given stuff that's coming. Yeah, I... <laughs> I've kind of got my own theories about what this what this episode is about. Oh, um, <laughs> uh, you won't like it. <laughs> well, well, oh no! Don't say that. Uh, no, no, oh. no, no, no. I think I um I think they've ta he may have taken it uh taken it from an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, um in that a lot of these fictional okay. characters there may be other fictional characters in it i think possibly rose may be a may be a, a connection to the to the to neil patrick harris who by the way i cannot wait to see i love Dang. neil patrick harris so do I. and yeah. and uh, i mean i it, i've always loved him since he was in a uh, show called dr horrible sing-along blog and uh which was also done by joss whedon and um ever since then he's done a lot of musical parts i'm really hoping that he sings in this oh and... come on he's 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 got the whole duck tails and coat thing <laughs> he's gonna have a song yeah I, I love that accent too and i'm glad that he's sticking with it you know so it's it's gonna be interesting and you know whether or not he ends up being the celestial toy maker i don't know but it'd be nice it'd be nice i've only ever seen one episode of that like a lot of people so you know but <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, it kind of gave me old time vibes, you know, that, that just that, that little teaser, there were certain elements and that, the sort of, I felt like I was watching a BBC drama, but, uh, you know, a trailer for a BBC drama, you know, but, uh, other than that, um, yeah, it, it, the other bits seemed like Doctor Who. So I'm all for it. Well, I did think, Matt, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear you say that because, I, I was exhilarated by this trailer. <laughs> Pretty much every single moment of it just just gave me goose pimples. It helped that I was watching it with my my sons. This is quite by chance because my sons tuned out of Doctor Who years ago. You know when Jodie Whittaker was announced, that was that was that. You know they didn't want to know about a lot of female people tuned Doctor. out, didn't they? Yeah, Com completely bailed. And they started. I'll be honest. They started to lose lose interest. They they when um when they gender swapped the master. They really didn't. Oh, like right, they, yeah. They carried, they carried on I really it. hoped that they hadn't been the master, but then again, I was just like, okay, yep, go well, through it. <laughs> once Jodie Whittaker was announced as a new Doctor Who, to them, that was the show was just over, and so and we were we were sat at my mother's. This uh, the the trailer came on. As I say, we the first couple of frames, I knew that it was that it was going to be on, that something was going to be on. But you know mm. what it's like on Christmas Day when everybody's everybody's talking and all the rest of it. And we've yeah. been watching we'd been watching the cricket, but my mother. She does love Strictly Come Dancing, and she turned it on to to see that <laughs> Strictly. What she's been, cool. she been watching that? I can't. Yeah, I can't remember yeah, exactly what's going on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, there was there was something going on with with Strictly, and uh, and then this this comes on, and uh, it's like, oh yeah, it's it's the Doctor Who, and uh, we all just st everybody just stopped talking and and stared at the screen. And my and my sons, who are now in their twenties and quite cynical, no nonsense characters, who aren't prone to sentiment, once it finished, they were they were smiling as well. And my son George, who's 20, 22, said that just felt like I've just seen something from my childhood brought back, and it's just taken me back like 10, 10 or twelve years. That's what they count. Yeah, but but Ian, it's the 60th. Uh, I, said I know, but that's what I can well. on. And that's celebration. I'm not saying it's it a bad needs, thing. I'm saying it's a yeah. good thing. It's I, a good I, thing. I, 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 yeah. both, of the, both of them said abs absolutely, absolutely watching that with, without yeah. a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. No, I'm watching no it. Then, then my other son said it looks, just, just looks so much fun. Uh, yeah, mm. and, and I thought, Sorry, well, Matt. Like, it's not just me yeah. then. Yeah, no, no I'm... It, it's... It, it, <laughs> I'm, I'm really... I, I'm more enthusiastic about Doctor Who than I have been in the last five years. And uh, whether or not that continues not after the anniversary, no, no, it's not hard. 
but uh, you know, the last the last few years have been like you know just terrible. So yeah. you know, it's it's just awful. Yeah. And uh, you know, I mean, it's um, <laughs> just look at that logo. I mean, they bring it. They're, they're just pulling out all the stops for this because they know that everybody's left. And if 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 they can get it right, we've got another fifteen years ahead of us. I've got some and stats I'm, here, Matt. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to shooting. I really am. Whether As or not time, he can pull it off, I mean, you know, uh, who knows? But obviously, I'm, mate. I'm thanks to, to YouTube. Thanks to YouTube and social media, everybody got to see this trailer at, at exactly the same the same time. I've watched it several times since, so I was able to see the frames that I missed, catch all the dialogue and all the rest. We've got some stats here. This is the most liked, this is on YouTube, the most liked Doctor Who trailer ever. 63,000 nice. likes. Wow. Nice. It's, this is, uh, at the time of recording, This it's now two days since this premiere. These figures were taken after just 24 hours. It's Day got the, the best, would be. the very best opening for any official Doctor Who trailer of all time. 1.5 million views in just 24 hours. Nice. Wow. That's nice. That's good. That, look how bad well it's really fantastic cool. it's it'd be good in for anything matt but when you look at how things had slid how little interest God, yeah. there was in likes and watches for word to to spread about this i think charlotte and and i think because i think that's what's happened i think that people are, oh david tennant's back there even now two or three months after Power of the Doctor, there's still people who say to me, is David Tennant back in Doctor Who? Even, even now. And obviously considerably more people will have seen this because it was on whenever it was on. It was either on before or after Strictly. I don't know. It was somewhere around Strictly time, which is still a very popular show. So you can guarantee more people than ever will have seen this. And it's, it's bringing them back to the party. So on, on, on one hand, you know, I said, I said to my kids, I said, well, when's it on? It's on in November. And they went, oh. <laughs> Immediately they went from elation to oh, oh okay <laughs> yeah I, I I do I do got to admit I think they did um they they shouldn't really have put the, the trailer out now in my opinion because people are going to forget and then have to be reminded again see but I I, I don't think feeling... they gave much well, away sorry Charlotte but I don't think they gave I've... much away no but I know what Ian's saying it's just something new will come along and the interest yeah. will go to the new thing. Yeah, but I, I, th yeah, I, I think, think it looks that way to us now show. because we don't know what's coming between now and November. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I am assured that it isn't just that, yeah, as regards fiction, it is those three episodes, but there are other Doctor Who events that are planned on, through the BBC, I would imagine, rather than through Yeah, through and, I, and Bad I think Wolf or Sony. We, we've, we've got to remember, we've not got the, the, the last era, only ever spoke like a couple of weeks before the series at was on telly like that's how they did promotion <laughs> if we were lucky yeah, if we were yeah, yeah. lucky we got that whereas russell that's not his his style is the opposite and i've really got a feeling now that he's going to just drop lots of little things throughout the year little announcements little teasers or trailers or little even clips if he, if he wants to i think he's just going to do a very like breadcrumb approach so yeah. so there's always something with enough gaps to keep interest going and that's why i think well, it was such also, a lovely thing he put this on christmas day though and he even said was. in a in a message didn't he on instagram i'm guessing like oh i'm sorry you could you couldn't have a special this year it's so we should say that because we've got that <laughs> right here do you want to see this it's was what like russell we t this, davis but we don't <laughs> this is what russell t davis said to total tv guy just a few days ago I'm sorry there's no special this year, but I absolutely promise this time next year, you'll be staggered with the surprises we've got in store. You will be staggered. Mega Geek, yeah. you will be staggered. It's open. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that was to the Total TV Guide. But as regards this teaser trailer, he said, we wanted to give fans, friends and families a lovely little Christmas present with a promise that 2023 will be a riot of Doctor Who goodness. Now, to me, a riot. Yeah, three episodes isn't a riot. I think there's, I think there'll be something. I think there's something else. I think the general. Well, there's four if you include the Christmas special. I know, but I think they've got a, a lot of a lot planned to make sure that people know that Doctor mm. Who is back. Do you really reckon they're going to do like as Charlotte said, a little, a uh, couple of little specials before they actually aired the three episodes? I think there could be some YouTube minisodes coming. Like that. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. minisodes or something. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. See, I, I stopped watching some... those. I, I 
I stopped watching those just as, uh, when Peter Capaldi was, you know, because I didn't even know they had all these little mini-sodes Well, before. The, the problem was, Matt, they, they hid them. Like, they didn't uh, make it easy yeah. to find, and a lot yeah. sometimes they didn't they didn't even sometimes connect with the episode. Well, they no. wouldn't like, even include them that, on the DVDs, was, you know. To be honest, that was Stephen Moffat's fault. Yes. He cocked that up. He, Stephen Moffat... You know, and I, I like Stephen Moffat. Every time I say anything bad about Stephen Moffat, I get I get nasty messages. I really like Stephen Moffat. I like his work. I like him as a man. I love his sense of humour. But mm. he isn't the showman that Russell T Davies is. And he doesn't understand that stuff in the same way that Russell does. And he cocked up the minisodes. He started giving different places, different exclusive minisodes, so that not mm. everybody saw them. There are still minisodes that I've never seen because they were attached to other platforms, international platforms. And it might not them. be his fault, though, Dan. It might be the planners that, you know, because like... No, for instance, no, he, maybe not. But at the end yeah, of the day, he's, it, the guy, yeah. he's the guy at the top. So I, I, I know. To and you have to blame someone. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I mean, I mean, I didn't see, you know, the, the mini episode with... Uh, Actually, Ian, uh, I, I want to clarify. If, it, if, yeah. if he didn't know that all that was going on, that's also his fault. No, no, no. It's not, no it's, not, it's not that he, he, he doesn't know. You know, if he's a showrunner, he allocates certain things to certain people. So, do you know what I mean? So something... I don't know. I don't know. You know, it, it's like it's like you hire someone to do something and they make a mistake or whatever, or they don't do it as well as you thought they're going to do it. You can't be at ten places at the same time. No, I but, th but I think these were that, marketing. Right? I think these were marketing decisions yeah. that that did the yeah, series well, down a little bit and made those the ideas, the concepts of minisodes feel like they were kind of passe yeah, and that they didn't yeah, matter. You're, you're right. You're absolutely right. But and 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 to just and to clarify that and to actually say that you're right is I remember watching the the Clara episode the mini episode which was talking to the TARDIS and that was that came out four years before I actually saw it because I didn't even know it existed I came across yeah them. they were so accidentally hidden. do you know what I mean they were accidentally I was like what's this is this is this a, a bit from the episode I'm like oh it's a mini series you know so yeah here's you're right the, here's here's the other thing though Russell's got a lot of infrastructure he could use now He's got so he's social got media. He's got iPlayer. That's what I mean, though. There's there's very simple places he could go to just mm. drop little things that everybody relatively can access. Well, remember, they used to be into the big red button thing as yeah. well yes. when David Tennant. Yeah, red David button's Tennant not first really released. That was really the first time we ever saw David Tennant as the Doctor was mm. in that little that little game thing that they had. You know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so yeah. yeah um. Obviously, here, here he is again as well, playing the, the 14th Doctor <sighs> this time. And Why don't we just leave his hair alone for God's sake? Yeah, his hair looks it, a little different. Look, his hair... Uh, yeah, it makes him look older. Uh, He's got a red just... tinge to his hair, and then I don't know if that's to do with Has good he... omens or what. Yeah, in, in some of the scenes, it, it looks like he's got a red tinge in his hair. It's really... Well, really I will advise that just, just as fashion changes, so does uh, product that people put on their hair. So uh, <laughs> yeah. it's important to bear that in I mind. I wouldn't know so about this, that, Dan. We've got this brand. Sorry to rub that in, buddy. I didn't mean that. <laughs> so we've got, this, we've got this brand new picture there of David Tennant as the 14th Doctor. So, of course, there's also a brand new picture of uh, Catherine Tate as Donna Noble. <sighs> she's back down. She looks better than yeah, ever, doesn't she? I okay. think she's, I'll have to put up she's with aging, her, I? aging beautifully. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, she's not aging beautifully. No, <laughs> no, no, no. We've got Donna's. We've got Donna's family there, and uh, her her mother, her husband, and her and her daughter. See, I love the husband. I reckon place. he was brilliant. Uh, he's a great actor. I, I've always liked him. And yeah, um, he yeah, so Carl Griffiths. Collins, who used to Carl Collins used to be in the Bill. He yeah, had an enormous yeah, afro, yeah. so he's there back as yeah, Sean Temple. That's right, he did. <laughs> very fleetingly in uh, in Doctor Who before, but there's Jacqueline King again as, as um, Sylvia, and yeah. Yasmin Finney as Rose. I keep I keep thinking it's Rose Finney as Yasmin, but it's not. It's Yasmin <laughs> Finney as Rose. Okay, so we've got those characters there. So that's Donna's Donna's family in place, and this brand new character too. This is interesting. Uh, played by the actress Ruth Madeley. Mm. The character's name is Dan. What's her name again? Shirley Ann Bingham. <laughs> so that's, is that's is she going to be versus um? Uh, Bernard Cribbins. I was just wondering, is she going to be like fighting him or something? I don't know. Fighting him? <laughs> yeah, have a race with him. A race. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Versus, you know. I hope nobody's going to be fighting a ninety-three-year-old man <laughs> yeah, uh, in Doctor she's, Who. Uh, she's, wheels versus she's, wheels. Uh, you know, she's, she's. I've seen her on TV before, and she yeah. is. Um, you know, she's in that wheelchair for real. So basically, so. 
Um, oh, is she? Yeah, she's not. She uh, is I've seen her in other shows. I've seen her in other shows. Well, she's she's in Doctor she, Who. The... She plays a character. Uh, the Sixth Doctors were well, one of the Sixth Doctors. Many companions mm. on the Big Finish mm. audios. A right. character called Hebe. And she hasn't been doing them for very long, but Can I think I she's done Dan, numerous. Does she play? Other parts. Does she play the character in a wheelchair? I don't know. I in heard those. Them, mate. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, well, there does. you go. But it's because of the time that we live in. I, I feel that this has just been pushed in there because of tick boxing, you know, and stuff like no, that. But I'm hoping until, that it's, yeah, it's until we natural. until we know until we know the, until we know the character who they are what they do, how they connect to the rest of the story. We can't possibly say that, can we? Again, I will say this to you again, Dan. The only <laughs> reason why I've come to this conclusion is because what happened in the past. That's the only reason why. I'm not saying this because to be mean or anything like that. I'm saying it based on other IPs being influenced by to, uh, today's politics. That's she all could I'm saying. end up like being someone like Ironside or someone, you know, a really great character. Yeah, great you character. Know? You just don't sure. know, like yeah. um, Oz, yeah. Osgood, you know? Yeah. Uh, Osgood wasn't in a wheelchair, though. Was I was going to say, I've, I've not no, seen this. No, 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 no. But like that Ooh. sort of character, you just don't, exp you know, they may explode, is what I mean. Like Osgood mm. was very popular. Okay. I've not seen yeah. this actress before, so I can't say li literally I have. As, as new to me as right. any other supporting character would be in any other show that I'd never seen. I think uh, so I've seen her in Casualty, I think. But I was surprised. You, you, I mean, sure. you, you mentioned it because they, they announced that. A, it wasn't a press release as such, but they did put out on social media, you know, here, here's Donna, here's the Doctor, here's her family, and, and uh, Neil Patrick Harris there as whoever he's going to be. But the one person yeah, conspicuous by his absence from this, even though we know that he was there filming, was is the late Bernard Cribbins. Wow. You would think not only is he one of the noble family, but we all know that he was there. Bernard died five or six months ago now. We, you know, we put on a big tribute to him on the Type 40 podcast. Deeply loved and respected figure who we announced as our Type 40 Live Doctor Who face of 2022. And we know he was there filming in Camden Town. David Tennant was there with him there. And obviously Bernard was in a, in a wheelchair at that point. He was, he was on set on location. Well, that was sorry, only a few weeks, for, wasn't it? Just for a good couple passed, of days. So. Yeah, yeah, he was there. I think he did two to three days with them there on location. And he did, he, I'm afraid he passed away uh, four or five weeks later at, at the I most. I think that's what it needed, you know. I really feel that that trailer really needed, they needed to less yeah. focus on Rose and more on, uh, that yeah. just one little, one little bit with Bernard would have blown that out of the water. I but you can imagine I his, to be, I don't want his to be character. about it or to be right. crass, Ian, but mm. because we all know that he filmed it, because he's mm -hmm. one of the noble, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to wonder why isn't he credited why isn't there a picture because those are brand new brand new high res images official yeah, uh, publicity, sure. publicity pictures why mm. aren't there any of bernard you know how I much was material thinking... how much material mm. did they actually get filmed i was actually thinking did they complete i was actually away. thinking that the other day dan i was like did they actually complete they they haven't said anything did mm. they actually complete his scenes or did they fill it in with rose you know there's been a precedent for this for this before mm. where howard atfield passed away they filmed material for him in yeah. uh, partners in crime the actor passed away and mm. uh Bernard cribbins step, uh, stepped stepped in. in yeah stepped in yeah. Uh, and i i again i'm not trying to be crass but mm. did Bernard no, get, he, he, get things filmed that, it, that um, he needed to be filmed? Or I can imagine. I can clean? imagine when 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 the fourteenth Doctor turns up and meets up with with um, with uh, what's his name again? Out oh, is it? Oh God, I forgot his name. The main the character that Bernard plays in the show. Wilf. 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 When he meets up, Wilf, he's gonna. You know, it's gonna be a touching moment because obviously, he, you know, they that... both left. You know, because um, he he helped saved. Yeah, you but whether or not he's going to say, not, well, I'm I a different hope, doctor, you know? I do hope that I'm not being inappropriate speculating about these things. Sean. I hope, what yeah. No, you're I'll, not. You're not. I don't think you you're are. You're not. And, but I'm yeah. thinking of another angle. What Ian mm. was sort of starting to talk about, maybe mm. they're not doing it because they know the emotion attached now. Mm. Obviously, when they filmed yeah. this, it, it, it didn't have a whole layer of context that yeah. now his scenes are going to have. And I don't know if... They're just out of respect. They are just being a little bit more sort of secretive and coy about Bernard's stuff. Mm. So then 
it's not seen as sort of being taken advantage almost. Yeah. Like trying to sort of promote it. No, I completely the event. I completely get that. I mean, as you as you know, one of our well, he was kind of a regular panelist on on the type forty stuff last year, uh, Ian McLaughlin, you know, when when he passed away. We've got several shows recorded with him and you think, you know, when when's the right time to put these out without seeming without seeming disrespectful or, you know, <laughs> it is, it's, I, yeah, I can imagine yeah. it's, if that's just for us on the YouTube channel and podcast on the show that goes out to millions of people all over the, all over the world like this. Yeah. It's, um, I mean, it's it's to me, it would be a more of a celebration of his life than no, actually, you know, I feel if them keeping him away, uh, keeping him from, you know, the limelight, you know, even though he's, he's passed, I feel that's actually giving him a disservice. Yeah. Yeah. What a great innings. Mm. But I, I mean, Ruth I, Ruth Maidley is very happy to be in Doctor Who on television, not least of all because she's working. But they've <laughs> yeah. But, uh, they've also gifted her. She was because she joined the cast of the show. She's been gifted one of these mugs, and she has her own little little symbol there. Uh, with mm. Merry Christmas. She shared this on her social media. Now it looks like it's a mug that's been given perhaps to all the cast and crew because it's got a clapperboard there as if to say, okay. You know, you, how'd, you're filming. How'd she get down into a boiler room? That's what I want. <laughs> well, <laughs> boiler room has a lift. She's has a lift. <laughs> has a lift. So there you go. Okay. But, okay. Yeah, so. I, hard to know. Well, I didn't, didn't understand those actor. hearts plus this plus. I never understood all. What, what do two they hearts? mean? Two, two hearts. hearts time 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 plus, what's the plus Diamond mean? Diamond, Diamond. The Jubilee. Diamond anniversary. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, then like well, the third symbol, whatever they need. So there's like, a filming clapboard, one. That's clapboard. a clapboard. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> and don't forget, that's a blue box too, isn't it? And it's got a blue rim on the on the cup as well. So there you go. Mm. So, there yeah. you go. Mm. Yes, I don't gotcha. know what you think. Soon to be of on eBay. all of this, mm. of all our ramblings about just sixty seconds of brand new Doctor Who that we got on Christmas Day. Let us know Im what you think. Imagine what will seconds. be when we actually see the episode. <laughs> 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 It'll be like Live A Day all over again. Let us Life know what age. you think of all of this crap that we've been... I know, a 37-year-old like reference. My God. I need, to, I need to upgrade my references. Yes, let us know what you think in the comment section of all of this and all of that. That's 60 seconds worth of new Doctor Who. Are you, are you excited? Can you feel it? Can you feel the tension? And are you counting the months? Or do you feel a little bit more reserved in the way that the, the Mega Geek does? Do you think that um, it could be on, a, on its way to somewhere that simply isn't where you want the series to go. And oh, he's so just a grumpy old are, man. You have reservations. <laughs> Let us know in the comments love you, Ian. section. <laughs> we wouldn't change him. Charlotte. We wouldn't change him for all the world. Uh, yes, so yeah, imagine where we're going to go with this. I don't know. I think we'll probably get something else at Easter as regards trailers, so. stroke teasers. Mm. Yep. They'll keep dripping it out bit by bit and we'll have some more idea probably in the new year what the shape of the anniversary year itself is going to be like as re regards conventions, more books, and and all that kind of thing. We'll be here on the Facebook channel on Type 40. Type 40 Live and here on Type 40 Extra, talking about whatever we can, whenever we can, and uh, yeah, catching up with you guys. So yeah, keep the comments coming and let us know what you think about all, all of this. And stay tuned. Stay tuned for more. Catch up with our Christmas content because there's nothing on the telly, is that You can catch our live no. streams. There's the uh, Type 40 Live Cold Front live stream where we we got hold of those photos, didn't we? Those leaked photos yeah. of the brand new TARDIS. We we had a good look at all that. A bit of good gander. And then the week after, there was the big Type 40 Live Christmas party for 2022 with party games and silliness, fancy dress and puppets. No other show gives them all that, does it, Charlotte? No. <laughs> no. No, she's still still recovering from it, everybody. She's still recovering from it. But you guys, yeah, you can go, you can go back and you can play, you can rewatch that till your little hearts are content, both of them. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think of it all in the comment section. I'm glad you could make it, Matt. I'm glad you've had a decent enough Christmas, mate. Have you had any Doctor yes. Doctor Who related uh, prezzies? Uh no. I I did get the um I haven't got it with me, but I did get the Daleks book. If you've seen that one, the the comic strip one, one with the that yes. JT oh, the showed off. Book. Yeah, no, it's it's like comic strips from the uh, from the yes. magazine. I think it was. So oh, yeah, 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 the, it, yeah, the collected edition. Yeah, mm. so yeah, because Ian um, was showing off his uh, his vinyl of the Eleventh Doctor, and Charlotte was 
showing us a reading matter uh, earlier on. So you and your mat is there. Weird. We are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, the that. 60th <laughs> anniversary year of Doctor Who is close at hand. We'll be here talking about as much as we can, whenever we can, and uh, with one another and your good selves. That's all for this time. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the cluster bell to get all the notifications. But yeah, uh, it's the new year's coming. There'll be more videos between now and then. Fantara! Sorry. We, we always do the Home Alone. Do the Home Alone pose. You know you want to. <laughs> uh, thanks thanks for coming on charlotte i hope you've had fun we'll, we'll we'll make some more of these extra videos over the next week or so there's still lots to talk about this is just one tiny corner of what's been going on and the same same for you matt hope to get you back on soon and ian i'll catch up with you no doubt in the near future and you too we always have the time if you have the space here at type 40 extra speak to you all again soon bye bye